If you're selling online, specifically on Shopify, then there's one thing on there that can get pretty annoying. Pretty annoying. And that's setting up different shipping profiles for the different countries or the different regions that you're going to be shipping to. That is, if you decide to ship to multiple countries. Yeah, that's pretty annoying. But either way, setting up a shipping profile on Shopify can be pretty annoying and it can potentially get pretty confusing. So in this video, we're going to go ahead and cover exactly that. We're going to cover everything that you need to know about setting up shipping profiles on your Shopify store. So that way you can start fulfilling orders as quick as possible. So without waiting any longer, let's just go ahead and get straight into it. So generally speaking, there are five different methods that you can use for your Shopify dropshipping store. The first one is going to be free shipping. This, of course, is the money maker. This is the one that every single customer is looking for. People want free shipping. Who doesn't like free shipping? And if you're able to add that to your store, if you're able to offer free shipping to your customers, chances are your likelihood for getting a sale are going to be a little bit higher than everybody else's. Again, for the simple fact that you're going to see free shipping. Customers love the word free, even if at the end of the day, it costs them a little bit extra. Now, if you don't think that you can afford free shipping for your customers, then think again, because honestly, giving your customers free shipping is probably one of the easiest things that you can do. And it's not going to cost you a single dollar. You're not going to have to pay for anything when it comes to the shipping fees. What's the secret? Well, simple. You just add the price of the shipping to the cost of the item. That's pretty much it. So if you have an item that costs $25, but you're charging $6 for shipping, instead of having two different charges, the cost of the item and the cost of the shipping, just put them together and charge $31. Then you can advertise free shipping to the customers. And even though you're not going to be collecting anything from them, you technically will be collecting the shipping fee from them. But instead of doing it separately, it's just going to be combined with the product cost. Told you, the man's a genius. The second option is the single flat rate shipping. Now for this, you're going to be charging just one single price for all of the different items that you're going to be shipping on your store. Now you can set this per item or you can set this for just your store overall. But at the end of the day, what you're going to be doing is simply just charging your own rate for shipping. So you can charge $5, you can charge $10, you can charge $25. Really, it's up to you how much to charge. Now this can have a couple of downsides because really depending on where your item is going, the price for your shipping can vary. Now, if you know that your supplier is going to ship your item and you're not going to be charged more than $10 each and every time that you place an order, then you can set up your flat rate shipping at maybe $10 or even $12 and just get a couple of extra bucks out of it. But really this isn't ideal because shipping rates change, different carriers have different shipping rates, and there's just too many things that factor into the price of shipping. So just keep in mind, if you do decide to do flat rate shipping, most of the times what I end up doing is I'll choose a specific shipping method. So I'll go with, let's say USPS priority and I'll charge $12 flat for every single order that I ship using USPS priority. Next up, similar to the regular flat rate shipping, you have tiered flat rate shipping. Now, when it comes to tiered flat rate shipping, this is how it works. So you can charge, let's say $10 for somebody that places an order for an item or for the entire order that totals out between one to $50. Then from $51 to $100, you can charge only $5 shipping and anything over $100, then you can offer free shipping. Those are three different tiers with three different prices. Now you don't necessarily just have to go by how much the customer is spending, but that is generally speaking, the more common way of doing it. You can also do it based off of the quantity of items that your customer is purchasing or simply by the weight. The fourth method is per item shipping rates. So this is going to be dependent on the item that you're selling. So let's say you're selling a pencil case. That's very light. So you can charge maybe three, four, five dollars for shipping for that. But if you're selling something else, like let's say a stack of paper or a few reams of paper, that's going to be a lot heavier. So for paper, you can charge maybe ten dollars for shipping. So this is really going to depend on the item itself, how much it's going to cost you to ship it and how much you're going to charge your customer per item. This is really helpful when you have different items that can vary wildly in sizes or in weight. Remember that when it comes to shipping rates, the prices can change a lot depending on how big the item is or simply by how much the item weighs. And the last method is the advanced shipping rates. Now this works if you're working with multiple suppliers, if your suppliers are shipping multiple items, and it's also very helpful when you're using multiple shipping couriers. So if you're using UPS, USPS, FedEx, DHL, all of the different ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into it and let's start configuring our shipping zones so that way you can see exactly how you can start setting up the shipping on your Shopify store. So the first thing that we need to do is, of course, log into our Shopify account. Now, if you don't have an account with Shopify, you can start your trial right now for just $1 for three months. So each month will cost you $1 for the next three months. 
And if you want to take advantage of that, just go ahead and check out the link down below. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to go over to our shipping section at our Shopify account. There's two different ways to do this. The simplest way, honestly, is just go to the search bar and type in shipping. And then you can go ahead and choose this option right here that says shipping. But aside from that, the other option that you have is over here on the left hand side, click on settings. And once that comes up, then you can click on shipping and delivery. And that's where you're going to set up everything that you need for your different shipping profiles. So let's get into it. So here you can see that there's already a few different options to look at. So first off, we have shipping, which is the basic shipping where you're going to set everything up and you have general, which is going to be for all of your different products, or you're going to have custom shipping rates. This is where you can set your different shipping rates for the different methods or per item. If you keep scrolling down, you have a bit more information. So you have the expected delivery dates. So you can tell your customer more or less when it is that they can expect their item. This typically, I like to keep that off because I like to just tell them you're going to have your item within four to five business days. I don't like giving them specific dates because that can sometimes cause a bit of a problem. Unless, of course, you're absolutely sure that they're going to be receiving their items within that certain time frame. Then you also have order routing, local delivery, which as dropshippers, we're not going to have local delivery. Same thing with pickup. You have delivery customizations and you have this one right here, saved packages. So here you can add a package and Shopify will calculate the rates based off of the dimensions and the weight that you're giving them. So for this, we're going to go ahead and keep it simple and we're just going to go through general shipping rates. So let's go ahead and click into this. And here you can see the few different items that I have on my store. And if you scroll down a little bit, then you have the shipping origins, which is pretty much where the items are going to be coming from. Right now it is set to US, but this is really going to depend on where your items are going to be shipped from. As drop shippers, we have a bunch of different suppliers throughout the world. World. So some can be coming from China, some from Australia, some from the UK, some from the US. So here you might have a few different options. But to get started, let's go ahead and create a shipping zone. So all we have to do here is create zone and we can name it whatever we want. For this example, I'm going to be shipping specifically just to the US. So under the zone name, I like to keep things simple. So I'm just going to put United States shipping. Then over here, I need to go ahead and choose the US. So we're not going international. So let's go ahead and scroll down. And we have here United States. So we can click on that. And from there, just click on done. Now we can officially ship to the US. Now, of course, if we did want to ship throughout the world or to a few different countries, then we can go ahead and choose it over here through international. So we can choose off Australia, Canada, and let's say the UK, which is typically going to be the more common shipping zones, but we're not doing that. So let's just leave it at the US. Next, let's go ahead and start adding our rates. So for this, all we have to do is simply click on add rate. And here we have two different options. So you can set your own rate. So let's say I want to just charge $10 for shipping. I can do that through here. And the other option is use carrier or app to calculate rates. Here, what's going to happen is Shopify is going to calculate the rates based off of whatever carrier you choose. So that can be based off of USPS, FedEx, UPS, DHL, whatever shipping provider you choose to go with. But just note that this is not going to allow you to have free shipping. If you use the carrier rates, Shopify will charge your customers for shipping. Now, let's say you want to offer free shipping. Let's go ahead and set that up. So we're going to go ahead and click on the first one, set up your own rates, and we're going to choose the transit time. So how long is it going to take for this item to be in transit? How long is it going to be in shipping? So that's really going to depend on your supplier and on on the carrier that you're using. But as a drop shipper, I'm going to go ahead and choose the longer rate just in case. And that is five to eight business days. Now, once we select that, then we can go ahead and set our price here. If you want to offer free shipping to your customers, just leave it at zero and it's going to be free. Or let's say I want to charge $10. Then each order is going to be charged $10 to ship. Now, let's say five to eight business days doesn't work for you. Maybe you want to do 10 to 12 business days or 10 to 15, whatever it may be. Just go ahead and click on this and then choose custom flat rate. No transit time. Then you can go ahead and set the name for it. So we can do here free shipping. 10 to 14 business days. And there you have your 10 to 14 business day flat rate shipping. Of course, you don't have to add free shipping. That's really up to you, but that's going to also depend whether or not you want to charge for shipping. Now, let's say you want to charge for shipping based off of weight or how much your customer is paying. So for that, what you have to do is simply click on add additional pricing. And here you can choose either based on item weight or by item price. So let's say I want to offer free shipping, but I need the minimum price to be $50. Then once my customer goes to spend $50 on my store, they will qualify for free shipping. So for this, the rate name, let's go ahead and put free shipping 50 plus and click on done. Now for any orders over $50, I'm going to be offering free shipping. But what about orders that are less than $50? Well, let's go ahead and add another rate. Now, in this case, we can go ahead and choose again, whether it be economy standard or express. So let's just go ahead and choose the first one. Let's make it simple. And for this, we're going to charge $15 for shipping, but we're going to charge that for any orders that are up to $50 or $49. So if my customer spends between zero to $49, then they're going to get charged $15 for shipping. So as you can see here, we have the $15 shipping for any orders that are between zero to $49 and any order that's $50 and up can qualify for free shipping. Now, the last one that I want to show you is the carrier or app to calculate rates. 
So let's go ahead and click on that. Now here you have the option to choose the carrier that you're going to be using. So you can choose UPS or you can use USPS. Once you choose the carrier that you want, in my case, I'm going to go with UPS. You can go ahead and start choosing the different services that they offer. So you can do UPS second day air if they want faster shipping. You can also do UPS ground for some very cheap shipping. And we can go ahead and choose UPS next day air just in case your customer needs their order tomorrow. Don't worry about it. Just don't say just cut off where I said uh, what I would do for UPS ground. Just I chose the three and that's it. Just keep it at that. And that's pretty much all you need to know when it comes to setting up your shipping profiles on Shopify. As you can see, it's really simple. It's super easy to get into and it's really easy to set up. But if you want to make things a bit easier, then you can start to implement something like automation. Please. So for this, what we're going to do is we're going to use AutoDS. Now, if you don't have an account with AutoDS, you can get started right now for just $1 for the trial period. But once you have everything set up and you're signed on, let's go ahead and see how it works. So here I have a bunch of different items under the marketplace. They all have some different shipping times, and I'm just going to go ahead and choose one of these. So I'm going to do the electric wine aerator. Okay, so we have the wine aerator, and this is shipping from the US. So I'm going to go ahead and import the draft, and then I'm going to run over to my draft section. Now, once I'm on here, you can see the item that I just imported to my store, and let's click to edit. Here you can make any necessary changes to pretty much anything that I need. I can change the title. I can add it to any collections within my Shopify store. I can change any tags to keep track of different analytics. And most importantly, what we're looking for is I can change the shipping method. So here you have three different options. For one, you have the cheapest, then you have the cheapest with tracking, and then you have the fastest with tracking. Personally, I always recommend you go with the cheapest with tracking, not just the cheapest. If you choose the cheapest, then you're going to have the cheapest shipping. Yes, but chances are you're not going to have tracking and customers need their tracking numbers. So that's why I always suggest to go with cheapest with tracking. Now, once we have that done, just go ahead and click on save and we can save and import. Once we click on save and import, then that item is going to go live on our store ready to be purchased. And the best part about it is it's going to automatically configure the shipping profile needed to be able to ship this item. Now that is going to be based off of your supplier's shipping settings, because remember, you're not going to be the one that ships it. It's going to be your supplier. So as you can see, using an automation software like AutoDS can really help expedite the entire shipping process. Process. Now, if you want a bit more information on all of the shipping settings for your Shopify store, just go ahead and check out the description down below. There's going to be a link to a relevant article down there. Now, I want to hear from you. What is one thing that is troubling you with your Shopify store? What's something that you're having issues with and what can we help you out with? Let us know down in the comments below. I would love to hear from you. And once again, if you found this video helpful, if you found it informational, if you enjoyed it, please make sure you smash that like button. And also while you're there, just make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Huge thank you to everyone for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end. My name is Mario with AutoDS and I'll catch you all next time.